So here's the final pop quiz. Um, we've still got our sound file in our table and all I've done in this object here, if you remember from previously, it was that to give us a number that represented a frequency. So if we did 69, we got, whoopsie, I don't know, 444, four, four, idiot, 440, 69, We've got 440, middle C, 60, 261. That gives us a frequency to drive an oscillator, but to drive it just as a ratio from a MIDI reference point of middle of A, we just need to get rid of the multiplication. And we can stick this into here. And now you could play, this is a note in. So I no longer need these, put these out of the way. This would be useful if you're having a tablet, of course, but not so good if you've got a MIDI keyboard, note in. Uh, you wouldn't, yeah, you would do it like that. That would give you your MIDI note in. Let's just do this, that's better. seems to work now obviously if we bring that round to the polyphony that we had with our simple synthesizer for a tablet you could well see how if you pack this and I have to figure out poly again a quick look poly 4 1 poly object to the pitch velocity pairs so it's not the pack doesn't go there poly pops in the middle here and we pack all three elements velocity pitch note number or voice number we pack that we put the guts of this here into an abstraction obviously we'd want an inlet which would go to an unpack Uh, first of all, a root for a voice number. Here's where you'd need to be clever because the abstraction that you create must have a specific voice number. So this root would be looking for one specific voice number. This is hard. This is something I will look at in the very near future. And But uh, those of you that might be interested, there is an example of this in the USSS tools. It's called Dynamic Sampler. Um, it doesn't use the clone object. It uses an older object. So you'd have to use it with PD Extended. It uses an object called SPRINTF to make multiple copies of this. But you can imagine, this is just a MIDI note number that we had from our uh, push button on the tablet to play an oscillator but instead of playing an oscillator we're reading a table so it shouldn't be that difficult to alter what you did for the simple keyboard to become a simple sampler all these files are located in the internet under MUS 355.